Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another episode of MTD CNC North America. I'm with my friend David. We're at RegoFix. And most of you know RegoFix for decades for ER collets, right? Started in 1950, first patented collet in 1973. But we're going to talk a little bit about the power grip today and how the power grip can significantly help you and holding your tools. So David, thank you for being with MTD. Not a problem. Thank you for coming again. So we have two different setups here and then we have a different style than the normal ER collets that I'm mm -hmm. used to behind you. We're going to talk about each of these individually to help people understand exactly how it can help them. Absolutely. So let's start with this first one here. What do we have? So what we're looking at here is the power grip compact unit or the manual pump unit. So this is going to be something that the smaller shops that are doing very few tool changes would use. And this would do our smallest PG series, which is PG6, up through our second largest, which is PG25. To give you an idea, the size range from 0.2 millimeters up to 20 millimeters maximum on that. So it would do the, the four different PG series that would fit within that. So works very, very simply. Uh, put your tool in, you would manually operate the hand pump to generate your maximum six tons of pressure to push that tool in place. And then you would just flip the head, head over to do the, the disassembly when needed. Unlike the automatic unit, which is, which is all push button, this one does require a little bit more operator interface, but it gets the job done. When you look at other systems that are out there, you know, their bottom line units start in the seven, eight, ten thousand dollar range for their bottom end units. And this is only three thousand dollars. So it gets you the entire compact set with one die of your choice. Makes it very easy and cost effective to get into a performance tooling system like Power Grip. Almost everyone I would say is quite familiar with ER collets, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's been around for decades, right? Absolutely. As long as we can remember most of us. Yep. So let's talk a little bit about the differences of how this system could really help some of the customers who are real familiar with ER collets, but maybe not so familiar with this. Absolutely. So the ER system is generally seen as a common everyday tool. It's, it's a commodity type item and it can be used for a variety of, of items and machining processes. Well, there's a point where the ER just runs out of steam. It doesn't have the accuracy that you need, the rigidity, or the TIR you need for those high precision jobs. And that's where Power Rip comes in. Class leading clamping force, ease of setting up and pre-setting, and TIR of one-tenth or three microns. Wow. Yeah, so it, it gets you in that high performance. I mean, let's face it, you look in the machining centers being sold today, 40,000's a typical speed for a, a good high quality spindle. You know, ER works at that speed, and Power Grip excels at that speed. It is a proprietary system in, entirely. It is a collet, it is a tool holder, and it is a pressing system, whether it be the manual or the automatic. It is a complete tooling system. You don't just add it to your ER line. It's going to eventually replace that ER line as your shop gets into higher performance applications. So here we're going to, obviously we're going to manually pump this. We have our dies that go into the head unit. Um, we have some kind of limitations on the tool diameter. You talked about going up to 20 millimeter. Mm -hmm. um, and some of us may want to go bigger or uh, we want to remove some of the operator error. In this yep. type of circumstance, if I take a step back, yep. we now have this automated power grip here, right? Let's talk Absolutely. a little bit about some of the differences between the two systems and how this specific system can help the audience as well. Oh, absolutely. So this is the automatic unit. This is where your operator really has limited things he can mess up or that he has to deal with in his setup procedure. He has a door handle and he has a press in pull out button. Very simple operation. He doesn't have to worry about setting up how, uh, what pressure it's going to generate or how long it's going to press it in. That's all done through the die technology. Each die has a special pin in the back that presses a button in the back of the head and that tells the machine what pressure to generate. So, you know, unlike the ER, right, to have a torque wrench and a torque wrench chart to figure out exactly where to go, this does it for you. Your operator doesn't have to worry about that aspect of the assembly. Now, I'm looking at a few different dies here, yes. right? 
but having just a few different dyes incorporates everything you guys offer and correct me if I'm wrong but I'm not limited by the taper diameter the taper size I don't need five different machines or one machine with a bunch of different mm -hmm. setups this one small space mm -hmm. is incredibly efficient to take care of all of the tapers absolutely that's a good point most shops today have machining centers with multiple tapers whether it be CAD, HSK, Capto on their lathes or mill turns and if they have other competitive systems, they have to have fixtures to hold each one. You know, even in the ER, I need a base for each one to hold it so I can torque it down properly. With this, it's the PG series that's important, not the taper. So if PG25 is my most common size in my shop, I only have to have my one die. And I just change the tool holder because the taper hangs down below and is really irrelevant to the press in cycle. I want to clarify something for the audience out there because me being somewhat new to the understanding of PG, but mm -hmm. always understanding ER for decades, exactly. right? Mm -hmm. They're relatable, of course, and you're obviously way for, more familiar with that terminology than I am. And there's some people out there right now that understand ER, but we're, yep. just, we're learning about PG. How do the two relate? Well, they relate by the naming sequence that we use. So back when the ER system was developed, you have ER and then you have a number that follows it. And I'm gonna pick 32, so ER 32. That 32 represents the gauge diameter of that ER collet. Well, we did the same thing with Power Grip when we developed it. So each Power Grip series or each PG series uses the same naming format. So PG 25 has a 25 millimeter gauge diameter for the collet. We kept it simple. I just wanted to clarify that for the people who are going, what, what the heck's a PG? Absolutely. So thank you for doing that. Now, something else I want to touch on here is when I think about me manually tightening my collets mm -hmm. throughout time, right? This system, this power grip system is incredibly quick as well, right? It, it is. And what's really unique about it, it, it is that speed. It's seven to 10 seconds and I have a total assembly and it's back in my hand going to my machining center. I don't have to you know, worry about the torque wrench and turn the dial, or if I'm using another system, I gotta find my T-wrench to tighten it or wait for it to cool off. This is seconds of operation and setup. It's very, very quick. You beat me to my next question. My next question was, when I pull this out, am I gonna burn myself? Do I have to have a cool down time? Well, how does that work? No, actually you don't. Because we are using the metal elasticity, because it is a press fit system, there is no heat generated. All pressures take the same amount of time. So there's no issue with a variant time or a time lag when you're doing your assemblies. And what's also really neat, we are talking about other systems that are out there. If we look at how fast this is, and there's no cooling, I don't have tools backing up. If I'm using other systems where I have a, an expensive unit, well, I have to have all the little pots to cool everything. And I have to wait for each of those pots to empty before I can do another one that fits that size. Well, not so with this. I like that. Now, after all of these incredible benefits that come along with it, I'm not burning myself anymore. It's only a few seconds to get it done. My rigidity has been enhanced. My precision has been enhanced. What about the longevity of the collets themselves? Are you, after 10, 20, 30 uses, is there, do I have to throw it away and buy a new collet? How's that work? Now, that's actually a really good question. For the customers that use ER, I mean, they know how long an ER collet system can last. I mean, it lasts years and years if you take care of it. When you move into the high precision systems, well, the lifespans can be a lot shorter because of the method of assembly that's being used. With the Power Grip system, we designed it to have the longevity built into it. We are the only company out there that offers a five-year, 20,000 cycle guarantee on our collets and tool holders. So you might have a little bit more premium to start with, but the longevity of the system is gonna far outweigh any of that initial cost. The machine itself actually has a five-year warranty that when you buy it, you can sign up for it. And then not only are your tools guaranteed, but so is the machine. I know that this is extremely cost effective as well. Even if it's the hand version or this more automated version, they're both extremely mm -hmm. cost effective for a company. Yeah, they, you will be under $10,000 for, for these units. So let's talk a little bit about the tools behind you and go into a bit more detail about 
how exactly they work because traditionally in my head when I think of collet systems, especially ER mm -hmm. collets, I think about the diameter of the collet, the diameter of the collet nut, and that's about how deep I can get into the part that I'm getting ready to machine. However, you have all sorts of accessories here that allow us to get into deeper pockets with that smaller diameter and still having that precision and rigidity. Oh, absolutely. So just like the ER system where we have lots of extensions for reach and accessibility, well, we have the same thing with Power Group, whether it be the very small PG6 with a pencil type uh, profile to reach in through to the PG10. So we can actually take any of our five different PG series and kind of stack upon them to get the length I need, maintain that high clamping force and that TIR. And we even now have XL holders up to 600 millimeters in length for that more monobody style power grip assembly. Just like we did for the ER system, the power grip has been built up over time and now we offer that for a variety of different things. From you know, three different ways to handle your coolant going through your power grip system. For short and long shank cutting tools, for the MQL or the cryo applications that are out there, to secure grip, to lock things in place. So a wide variety of different types of collets to fit the need that you, our customers, have. Wow, I love it. Well guys, for those of you interested, David is going to give you a bit more information if you don't already know because we already know RegoFix so well, right? But he's going to give you a bit more information on where you can find uh, the power grip, uh, who you can talk to, your local representatives, websites, social media, any of that kind of stuff. Let the guys know, now that they know a bit more about how this works, where they can find the information to give you a call. Absolutely. So you can go to RegoUSA.com. That is our North American site. You can also go to regofix.com. That is our global site. From either one of those sites, you can reach out. Well, David, thank you so much for educating me on this. It's something I know I could have used in my machining days over and over and over. And it has a warranty and over again. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, I appreciate thank it. Thank you so much for sharing this story with our MTD audience. Guys, I hope you've learned as much as I have today, and I look forward to playing with this a little bit more. All right. Thank you, Tony.